Hi friends, it's Mrs. Walker. Today for our fluency activity, we're going to focus all on skip counting. Remember, the better you are at skip counting, it's going to help you so much to be able to solve your multiplication and division problems. So that's why your skip counting fluency is super helpful. So make sure you're practicing your skip counting any chance you get. Okay, so our learning goal for today is I can count by, skip count by threes, fours, and sixes. So let's jump in and get started. So remember, we're going to see these hand signals come up. We're going to skip count together. This means count up, this means stop, and this means count down. So here we go. We're going to skip count by threes to 30. So we're going to start counting up. Ready? So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Stopping, now we're gonna count down. So ready, 27, 28, I'm sorry, 27, 24, 21, 18, 15. Stop, count up, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. All right, great job skip counting by threes to 30. Let's go ahead and skip count by fours to 40. So we're gonna start with counting up. Here we go. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Counting down, 36, 32, 28, 24, 20. Stop. Let's count up 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Rock on friends, good job skip counting by fours to 40. Now let's skip count by sixes to 60. Here we go. Counting up six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Count down, 54, oh, 54, 48, 42, 36, 30, up, here we go, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. All right, great job with that one. Remember, friends, when you are skip counting, it's good to stop like we do at certain numbers and then count up and count down because that helps you to be able to remember those numbers even better. Also, remember, as you're skip counting, I want you guys to be putting up like an extra finger as you're going. So if you're counting by sixes, you would go six, 12, 18, 24, 30, because you know that you're counting by sixes. So six times one, two, three, four, five, six times five is 30. Okay, that helps kind of get that muscle memory remembering what you're doing. If I was doing six times three, I would go six, 12, 18. Six times three equals 18. Okay, so remember to be doing that as you're practicing as well. So you guys nailed it with skip counting with threes, fours, and sixes. So great job on your fluency practice. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next. Have a great day. Bye, friends.